This would have been exploitable, except that RSA is a lot better than ECMQV when it comes to a bad bounce. The uh, only bad state as far as an RSA random number is um, when an attacker can actually control which number is sampled. Um, I started a mailing list called Smart Grid Skunk Works on uh, Google Groups as a security back channel for embedded systems engineers working with Zigbee and smart meters. Now, this is um, a place in which you can post an anonymous question, like, hey, will this lead to problems later? Things like that. And it also allows for uh, vulnerability announcements. So the people designing these products can receive the information about how the libraries they've copied are vulnerable so that they know when they need to upgrade when the vendors aren't telling them. Uh, if you'd like to join the fun, you can download most of these. I think Znet Pro requires a vendor account, but Ember is quite friendly and they might give you one if you're friendly too. Um, you can also grab a GoodVet board from me and you can purchase the Girltech IM me for 15 bucks and have all sorts of fun with it. Um, to conclude, this hasn't yet been fixed. The, the replacement of the vulnerable code is going to take several years and by that point, the Zigbee Smart Energy profile itself might fade away. Um, crypto is hard, and it, it shouldn't be assumed to be done properly just because it's complicated. And um, also, a, a single vulnerable device in the network breaks the promises auth offered by uh, certificates in the same way that a single rogue certificate authority breaks the host side of things in SSL. Because here, the individual devices, rather than just servers in the sky, are being authenticated. Um, and that's the end of the show. Are there any questions? Yes? Uh, the, uh, the yes. Static. Proper after whitening looks like static. Um, proper before whitening looks like static, but sort of bent to the corners a little bit. So you wind up with either a star shape, if it's biased toward the low values, or you wind up with uh, a sort of square shape with a missing diamond in the middle, uh, if it's biased toward high numbers. So. Uh, I'll send you the scripts for generating that if you need it. All right, thank you for your time. Oh. What? Um, I can show you the diff later, the, what they did was they moved the random number generator function into the secret library that you get from Certicom, but only for cryptography. So they sort of passed the problem off to Certicom and called it a day. Uh, if you look through the new code, they just changed the relevant function to a function that they haven't given you. And you have to also upgrade your Certicom library in order to get this new function. Uh, so if you're trying to do a quick upgrade, you're going to uh, have to hope that your contracts are in order to get the upgrade from a second vendor. And they also don't repair the HAL or system random number generator functions. So if you're using any random numbers for your own purposes within this application stack, you're still screwed. Right. Uh, so the relevant diff is about five lines. Yeah. But so it goes. Any other questions? Great. Thank you for your time. <laughs>